Let's say you were given x to the fourth power minus 29x squared plus 100 equals 0. So you want to, you don't know how to solve an x to the fourth, but you do know how to solve an x squared. So what you can do is let a letter, so let's say we let b equal x squared. Then that means that if b is equal to x squared, then b squared is equal to x to the fourth. So instead of using those terms, you have b squared minus 29, b plus 100 equal to zero. You know how to solve a quadratic raised to the second power. So using the quadratic formula, what you have is you have a positive 29 plus or minus the square root of 29 squared which comes out to 841 minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2 times a so that's 29 plus or minus the square root 841 minus 400 divided by 2 that's 29 plus or minus square root of 441 divided by 2. Then you can go to your calculator and you can ask yourself what's the square root of 441? Well that's just 21 so this comes out to 29 plus or minus 21 over 2. So your two answers will be 29 plus 21 over 2 and when you add those together you get 50 so that's 50 divided by 2 which is 25, so 25 is one of your answers, and 29 minus 21 over 2, which comes out to 8 over 2, which is 4 is one of your answers. But keep in mind, this is what b is equal to. You want b squared. So if you got b is equal to 25, What is b equal to? b is actually equal to x squared, so you have x squared is equal to 25. So therefore, when x squared is equal to 25 and you want to solve it, you square root both sides. So you have x is equal to plus or minus 5. That's two of your answers there. And remember, because you have the highest power to be 4, that's how many answers you have. So then you also have b is equal to 4. Well, b is x squared, so you got x squared equal to 4. So you got a square root of both sides, and you got x is equal to plus or minus 2. So your other two answers are positive 2 and negative 2. So your four answers are 5 and negative 5, and positive 2 and negative 2. Let's say you got x to the power of 2 thirds plus x to the power of 1 third minus 2 equal to 0. Well, if you let b equal x to the 1 third, then that means b squared is equal x to the two-thirds. So you can replace this and call it b squared plus b minus 2 is equal to 0. So you want to ask yourself, you can either do this to quadratic formula or you can do this to PQ method. What two numbers multiply to give you negative 2 and add to give you a positive 1? Well, those two numbers are 2 and negative 1. So the answers are you have b plus 2 equal to 0 and b minus 1 equal to 0. So the answer will give you b equal negative 2 and b equals negative or positive 1. But that's not, that's not it because b is equal to x to the one-third power. So you have x to the one-third is equal to negative 2 and x to the one-third is equal to 1. Well this one is easy. To solve x to the one-third you raise it to the third power. So when you raise it to the third power you have x is equal to 1 on this side. So you got that answer. This one you have to raise it to the third power. So you got negative 2 to the third power which gives you x is equal to a negative 8. Because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 times another negative 2 is a negative 8. So your two answers are negative 8 and positive 1. 
let's say we have 2 minus 6 times m minus 1 to the negative 2 power and that's equal m minus 1 to the negative 1 power well if we let b equal m minus 1 to the negative 1 power then that means b squared is equal to m minus 1 to the negative 2 power if that's the case then what we have is we have 2 minus 6 b squared equal to b and we, we subtract b from both sides and putting it in order we have a negative 6 b squared minus b plus 2 equal to 0 using the quadratic formula our b in this term is negative 1 that's the number attached in the middle so it's going to be 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared which is 1 minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2a so what that comes out to be that comes out to be 1 plus or minus square root negative 4 times negative 6 is a positive 24 times 2 is a positive 98 or 48 so we got 1 plus 48 divided by a negative 12 this is 1 plus or minus the square root of 49 divided by negative 12 which comes out to 1 plus or minus 7 over negative 12 so our two answers are 1 plus 7 over negative 12 which comes out to be 8 over negative 12 and if you reduce it it's going to be a 4 over 6 or of a negative 6 or a 2 over negative 3 so that's one answer and then the other answer is going to be 1 minus 7 over negative 12 which comes out to negative 6 over negative 12 which comes out to a positive 1 half but just keep in mind that those aren't the answers yet because b is equal to m minus 1 to the negative 1 so instead of b equal to 2 thirds or negative 2 over 3 it's actually m minus 1 to the negative 1 power equal to negative 2 over 3 so what you have to do here m minus 1 to the negative 1 power is really 1 over m to m minus 1 equal to negative 2 over 3 common denominator is 3 times m minus 1 because you know when you have a negative exponent you have to flip it so this one you multiply top and bottom by 3 to get it this one you multiply top and bottom by m minus 1 the denominators are going to cancel and what you're going to have is you're going to have 3 on one side equal to minus 2m plus 2 and solving this for m subtract 2 from both sides and you got 1 is equal to minus 2m divided by negative 2 and you have your answer m is equal to negative 1 half that's one of your answers but then you also have m minus 1 to the minus 1 let's put that over here is equal to a positive half which is really 1 over m minus 1 equal to 1 over 2 so this side you multiply top and bottom by 2 this side top and bottom by m minus 1 denominators are going to cancel and you're going to end up with 2 is equal to m minus 1 add 1 to both sides and you end up with 3 is equal to m so your two answers are m equal to 3 and m equal to 1 half